How's it going, everybody? Active Chicago here. Welcome to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And yes, the uh, the title of the video is exactly what it means. Um, I have turned, well, pretty much everything I can uh, in Mario Kart Deluxe or some tracks into cows. I really hope that uh, it shows off. But yeah, there they all are. There are all the cows. And yes, this does exist. I have managed to do this. So I should probably explain. Um, I have a track editor for Mario Kart Deluxe. It's fairly new. It's a public release. Um, I would link it, but like it's it's fairly complicated. Like my friend Mera helped me like set all this up. So you have to thank her for uh, for doing all this. Um, but yeah, essentially the uh, the main thing. <laughs> God, look at all of them. Um, yeah, the main thing is um, is that. Yeah, this track is... Uh, oh, I've, 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 yeah, I've replaced a few tracks with uh, with loads of cows. I've replaced item boxes because they're like pretty essential things. And I just think it would still be quite funny to have them around. Um, but yeah, like all of the uh, like coins, um, quite a few of the NPCs have been replaced by cows as well. Um, you'll see like in the next couple of tracks, it'll be a bit better than this. Because like this was the first track I actually uh, messed around with with this kind of mod. And I guess decided, let's just dump a whole bunch of cows everywhere. Oh my god. Okay, I can get rid of the horn. I'm actually slightly stuck. Okay, there we go. Ah, no, I'm stuck again. Um, but yeah, um, I just decided to, to dump a bunch of cows on the field. So I thought, well, you know, it's moving meadows. This is where, like, the cows live. Uh, it's not like, you know, they're kind of doing much. Let's just, you know, let's just plop them down on here. Um, for whatever reason, the ramp, uh, now that cows are on them, has just become, like, not solid anymore. Um... Oh yeah, there are like certain rules that I have to abide by. Um, because like I understand the that you seeing this, like the title might be a little bit clickbaity, like, you know, you know, oh my god, act not like, everything isn't like, you know, replaced with cows. Like, yeah, I know. Um, because like, you know, I, if I replace literally everything, like the track included, it, it just wouldn't work, would it? Oh, there's four cows. How dare you look That's actually well, that's actually quite a lot of that. I also increased the size of the cows as well, so if you're wondering why they look massive, that's why. Um, but yeah, the uh, the main thing I've done is replace like kind of the non-essential um, items uh, in this. Oh no, the non-essential items in this game uh, or in these tracks uh, with cows. So for example, you know, like I said, NPCs, um, you know, uh, start lines. You'll see as well. Um, there's a bunch of things I've, I've replaced. So I think, um, for the next, like, three tracks, I think you're- I mean, I hope you like this one as well. This one's, like, completely crazy with cows, and poor Mario's getting stuck. Um, but yeah, uh, the next three tracks are really kind of emblematic of the idea of I've replaced everything with, uh, with cows. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's another one. This- <laughs> this is Super Bell Subway. I don't know what I'd rename it, but, uh, yeah. This is- this has a lot more cows in it. Uh, than the previous one. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at all of them. They're just kind of, they're just, yeah, they're just chilling behind the fence. They're just all chill. Um, there, there's more as well. Like, we just go around here. Look, there's, there's more in the, uh, I don't even know what to call them. Ticket booths, maybe. But yeah, like, this is really where, like, the idea of replacing everything with cows kind of comes into its element. Like, it's not just coins anymore. Like, I've replaced, like, all the NPCs with cows. I've replaced, uh, like, the various toll booths with cows. Um, I've replaced quite a lot of things with cows, if I'm honest. Um, the only things I couldn't replace are the trains. And the reason why I couldn't replace the trains is because, like, they're a fairly essential, um, you know, part of the track. So if I replace them, uh, the track, the entire game would just break. Um, like, there are, I've got around it on some tracks, uh, which I, I'm not going to show off here. I'll probably, I'll show them off in, like, another video if you guys want to see, like, more of this. Oh god, I just messed up. Um, but yeah, like, essentially, um, like, I couldn't replace the trains in this because I, I believe they generate. Um, so if I replace them with, like, a cow, um, then that would kind of break the chain and it would, uh, yeah, it would result in, um, you know, uh, it would just result in nothing, essentially. It would result in the game crashing. Um, but yeah, like, there are two different types of cows, um, but I found these got the NPC cows, so, like, if I bump into them, you know, they don't, they don't damage you. Um, and in, uh, Moon Meadows, that's, um, one really emblematic of that. The, um, there's other, there's, like, regular cows, uh, which walk around the field, uh, and they damage you. The ones that actually walk and move and have paths, um, then, like, you know, they have, um, you know, they actually, like, collide with you. Uh, and they do damage and they spin you out. So, um, 
I can kind of get around some of those issues by replacing moving objects with, um, you know, uh, just regular old cow ones, but like, uh, you know, like moving cows. Like if I replace, say, for example, um, you know, the, the cars in Toe's Turnpike with, um, uh, with cows there, um, like, you know, that would work fine. Also, um, I'm racing to a CPUs on. I, I have I haven't like tested these out on uh, with CPUs before. They are looking like they're having they're actually still coping pretty fine. Like, you know, they still react to I think they still react maybe to stars and stuff. I'm not entirely sure if they do. Um, I haven't really tested that myself yet. But yeah, they um it does seem to work pretty well. Uh, the annoying thing is with the cows, they do block off like pretty essential parts of the level. Like, you know, they block off different ramps. Uh, they can get in your way when you're trying to do a drift. Uh, they can be a little bit annoying in some places. Again, I've, I've just put them where all the... Um, I've just replaced uh, all the coins uh, with cows. I haven't changed any of their positions. That's because where all the coins are. Um, and yeah, uh, look. See, Mario's getting stuck behind a cow. Um, and yeah, I don't think you can make it out of there. But yeah, that's two tracks down. We've got two more to show you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this as much as I am. This is absolutely absurd and I love it. Okay, so this one might start out subtle at first. Um, this one is uh, Neo Bowser Sissy, or as, uh, or as I like to call it, Neo Cowser Sissy, because uh, of because of all of all these cars. They're coming through the fence. Um, yeah, this one is still more like emblematic of you know um, replacing the NPCs, replacing the coins. I replaced a few more things in this as well. I feel like we're kind of gradually amping up the uh, you know the amount of things that are being replaced by cows. Uh, so, for example, it started off with just, like, just coins and then just bogging down cows wherever I wanted. Then there was replacing, like, NPCs and other parts of the track. Um, you know, I replaced some of the Cooper cars in this one as well. Uh, so you'll randomly see, like, flying cows around. Wait, I'll see if I can find one. I, we did just pass one. Uh, look, there's one. There's a flying cow that's over there. Um, I replaced the little spinny things uh, that give you boost of speed and the... Uh, uh, the anti-gravity sections with cows, and they've, I've, I've made them massive. I think my real coup de gras is this bit. I've replaced the, uh, the start line with a car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go backwards real quick and, uh, and show that off. I think there's some of the CPUs are stuck as well, uh, back there, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Let me quickly just look. So yeah, you see that? There's the, uh, there's the cow, uh, as the start line, which I think is just phenomenal. Um, I'm so surprised at how much I can get away with. Uh, in this mod. I didn't I never would have expected to, um, to be able to do that. Like, just have, you know, a bunch of, I can replace the NPCs, sure, but like, replacing the start line on some of them is, like, really, really weird to me, because, like, I found out they're actually separate to the model. Like, you know, I can't replace any of the, anim like, you know, the animated stuff or the arrows or whatever, because that already is built in with the model. Um, I can get, I can get rid of things in the model, um, but I can't, like, you know, um, replace certain elements of it with, um, with cows, because that, again, would probably just break something. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's all very, very, like, this is probably the strangest thing I've ever done in, like, a Mario Kart game, period. Whether it's, like, Mario Kart Wii, whether it's, you know, uh, Mario Kart Deluxe or what have you, this is by far the weirdest thing I've ever done, and I'm all for it. Uh, this potentially is, like, the future of Mario Kart modding. Uh, you know, like, when, once this gets, like, more accessible to people, because I'm, like, one of the, at least at the time of recording, I'm one of the few people who actually has this mod, like, installed. Um, you know, this could really become, like, the future of Mario Kart modding. Like, Mario Kart Wii CCP will still exist, obviously, and don't worry, I will still be playing that. Um, but, like, you know, Mario Kart 8 modding is actually, like, what I've found is it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's so easy. Maybe custom track will still be, like, yeah, that will still be difficult to do. So I still haven't worked out things in terms of collision just yet. There's still a lot I need to learn about this mod. Um, but, like, in terms of what I'm doing so far, this is so much fun. And uh, it's so easy to just mess around with everything. It's just, like, oh, it, it's so perfect. I absolutely adore it. Okay, so this is the final track I'll show to you guys today. Hyrule Circuit. Might not look too crazy at the moment. But, uh, just wait until, just wait until you see this. Um, so yeah. Some elements of it have definitely changed. Um, so this one I think is the most I've changed in a single track. Because there's so many things you can change. Still, like, the same thing. NPCs, coins, you know, spinny things, what have you. But also I've replaced the trees with really long cows. 
Um, like, when you originally replace them, they, like, you know, when you just change an object, um, in the editor, it just, it just still, it, it still saves the scale that you, uh, that you saved at before, and, uh, you know, it just ended up, uh, I just end up replacing it, you know, I just, uh, I replaced the scale with just making them really long to kind of, you know, fit the whole tree thing. The only thing is, this just does look incredibly cursed, I understand that, but I mean, you can't deny this isn't, you can't deny that this is cool. This, this is, this is so cool. Like, the fact that it just lets me do this. Um, but I can't believe it allows me to go this far with, um, with editing the track itself. And you may, like, also know that, like, I'm not, like, you know, where's, like, the, the Biddy Buggy or Mr. Scooby or whatever. That's because I don't, like, you know, this is a, like, I'm playing this brand new on, like, a brand new license. And, uh, yeah, I don't have everything unlocked. It's not like I'm playing on my Switch, um, you know, where I can, um, you know, where I can just have everything installed there. This is just a, um, a complete, du like, uh, a Switch, like, port dump. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. Um, but I'm, I'm essentially playing this on my PC. It's like a ROM. Um, of the, uh, of the game files. So there's no way in hell I was modding my Switch for this. I, I value my Switch and, uh, Switch Online. And all the games that come with it too much for that. But, um, this, it, you know, this is so worth it. Like, this is just so much fun. If you can get this on PC, then do it. I wouldn't recommend doing this to your actual Switch. Um, but, like, you know, doing this, uh, you know, uh, on, like, a PC is so much fun to do. And, uh, yeah, man. What a... What an absolutely crazy time this is. Uh, I think Donkey Kong's slightly stuck behind the uh, uh, behind the cows there. Um, yeah, it's a surprise as well. Like, you know, the only thing I didn't replace in this track are the bats, because they move and they have paths, and the Master Swords in the center, because I didn't really want to risk that, but that's it. I could replace the base of the Master Sword, actually. Um, but, like, yeah, I couldn't actually, you know, replace the Master Sword itself, because, like, you know... That's just way, yeah. I feel like that's still kind of an important part of the level. So I didn't replace that. But everything else I replaced. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. That is everything in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe turn into a cow. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this really random mess that I've done. Uh, if you want to see more cow tracks, uh, let me know which uh, tracks you want me to change uh, in the comments. I will do them. Uh, if you want to see more, like, really random stuff done, uh, with Mario Kart Deluxe modding, let me know. I'm sure there's other, like, weird and wonderful things I can replace parts with. Uh, and yeah, um, let me know if you want to see more of this in the comments. I really, really enjoy doing this, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. But, uh, until the next one, thank you guys very much for watching whatever the hell this was. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. I'm Mike Tishikawa, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.